Good morning, precious. Mm, mm, mm. When? You like, oh shoot, it's Wednesday. She said it might be a Wednesday, but she here on a Wednesday. Yes, I am, boo. I couldn't leave you. I couldn't leave you. I've been with you since Monday. I can't leave you. How you doing today? You alright? It's hump day. Hey Philando, happy birthday. Turn up, turn up. What a party at? <laughs> So guys, I just jumped on today to talk about attitude adjustment. I've been getting a lot of people inquiring about the youth program. And I don't know if it's because they've been uh, following me on Facebook. If they've been following the attitude adjustment page on Facebook. If they've been following on Instagram. If they've been, I don't know. They on YouTube because I don't, I don't even hit Twitter. <laughs> I don't hit Twitter a couple days ago. <laughs> be popping up there I'm all over the place so yeah guys so they've been inquiring about the program so guys attitude adjustment is a youth program oops fix it Jesus and we service children with behavior issues I know you have perfect children you don't need this program mm -hmm. so yeah guys we service boys 12 to 17 and we service girls 11 to 18 and let's see, what would be classified? What would you say? I sent a few people the link. Thank you, Philando. That's right. Continue to share people. As your girl do big things, I want you to share my achievements. Yes. Thank you very much. So, yeah, guys. So, we deal with children with slight behavior issues. And, and you know, I don't know what you consider behavior issues. You know what I'm saying? You got people that let their kids do any and everything. So, I, I don't know what, what you consider bad or misbehaving, you know what I mean? I, I don't like a kid to talk back to me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah, put him in a headlock. I don't play that. I don't like kids to talk back to me. I don't like telling kids stuff. Hey, Dion, I don't like telling kids to do stuff more than once. I get you twice, but, uh, what's up? It's how I'm going to be in your face looking at you. You know what I mean? I don't like a disrespectful kid. You know what I mean? I don't like a kid that talk back. You know, so it, it depends on you, how you was raised, what you tolerate, what you allow your kids to do. You know, I can go on and on and give you a list of things that I feel might be considered behavioral issues and you need to seek help or treatment. But that's just me. You know what I mean? It's just me. So yeah, guys, so if you didn't know, I started this program maybe about 16 years ago. Yeah, I know I lost my mom in 93. Got custody of my little brothers like around 95-ish. And um, the baby boy had a lot of behavioral issues. And I don't know about you, but when I was looking for help, it wasn't a lot of help out here. You know? It wasn't a lot of prevention programs, not for doing the stuff he was doing, you know. Yeah, he was like getting kicked out of school, stealing, fighting, being disrespectful, police knocking at my door. You, you name it. You name it. This kid was doing it. So, as a result, first place I went was the police department. Because the things that he was doing was things that was going to ultimately land him either dead or in jail. So I felt like if the police intervened and helped me out a little bit, scare him, put him in a jail cell, so I'm like, come to the house, arrest him then maybe that would be enough to scare him. Like, oh, I don't want to go to jail. I, they wouldn't do it. And I'm telling you, that's what it would have took. I'm telling you, at the time that I took him, if they would have did that, he would have been, he would have been, he would have been Gucci. <laughs> but they didn't, and he wasn't. But everything I tried, you know, it, it did. I had one of these. I mean, it didn't really, you know, didn't help too much. Helped a little bit, you know. So, yeah, that was the first place I went. So, when I was looking for help, I realized it's not a lot of prevention programs out here. You know, if you think about it, they actually about to build a whole new state-of-the-art 
a correctional system somewhere in the city. You know what I mean? The only options are really just to lock our our young men and, and women up, you know? And I just felt like it could be something done. It can be a better way. So I, I created Attitude Adjustment Youth Program, and it's basically geared towards those children with behavior issues to kind of let them see the consequences of their actions through the eyes of others. And I do this by allowing you to register. And you can do that by giving me a call at 313-586-2240. We're located at 15400. Hi, hey, G! Grand River, right there where the Foreman Mills is. We're on the second floor in the Strather Academy. So that's the first step. First step, you call me. We set up a time for you to come in and register. You pay your fee, because yes, there is a fee. There is a $60 fee for the boys, and there's a $75 fee for the girls. The girls are slightly higher because we provide transportation and we provide a meal. For the boys, the parents just drop them off at the correctional facility that we utilize and pick them back up. I know, it sounds a little unbalanced, but girls need more. <laughs> they need more love, they need more attention, they just need more, you know, so they get that when we ride together. Over here on the side, how you doing baby? They get that when we sit down and eat at the restaurant and discuss the experience, so they get that. So that's the first that registration, and then the good part, we set up a time for the family meeting. And this is very important, people, because this is where we get a chance to sit down with both parents and the child and the caregivers and the guardian and wait. Oh, yeah, I was exact on you today, girl. There you go. <laughs> Have a good day. Hey, Miss Lady, how you doing? Have a good one. So, guys, yeah, so that family meeting, everybody got to be a part, you know, and this is where we talk about the issues. We give you the opportunity to talk about why you brought the kid to the program. But <laughs> the good part is we get that kid an opportunity to talk about <laughs> some of the things they, they've been struggling with. Oh, yes. It's very interactive. Yeah, we don't just sit back and allow you to talk, talk about how you brought them because chances are once that kid gets to talking, we'll realize why that kid probably act the way that they act there. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, even though I tell my parents that they're not their child's only influence, a lot of stuff starts at home. You can't get around that. A lot of stuff starts at home. So, yeah, guys, after that, we sit down and we talk in the family meeting. Then the parents always ask, you know, they, it, it, it tickles me because they be like, how you get them to talk? How did you, how do you get them to say stuff? Hey, you know, it ain't really no, um, I don't have no magical powers or no shit like that. You know what I mean? I don't have no magic wand or none of that. But I can give you a couple key points of why the children feel comfortable talking to me in a family meeting upon only meeting me that one time first of all i do carry a weapon i carry a gun and i carry handcuffs right there in the family meeting the child sees authority you know they don't know if i'm police they don't know if i'm probation they don't know they don't know what i do all they know is that i'm authority so already i got them to tell me whatever i need them to tell me all i got to do is ask the trick is to get them to volunteer information that right there <laughs> that's the gift that's the that's the gift and i'm gonna be honest with you it ain't even no rocket science behind them getting them to volunteer information to me it's not i'm gonna give you a couple things first of all some of y'all parents got these kids heads so mixed and messed up they got them thinking that they the shit because they got the newest iPhone or they dress nice or they sweet. And I'm going to be honest with you, that's what I use to get them to volunteer information. Because I, I, they, they like everything about me. When, they, when I come in, I either got my J's on or I got some sweet ass gym shoes on. So already they looking at my feet. And then they check, they might see me with the pelly on. They might, they might see it, you know what I mean? And then I'm talking to them, looking at them through these buffs. <laughs> ah, then they might look at the watch they like the way the Movado look you know what I mean but if you think about it everything I'm telling you is all stuff and materialistic stuff so because y'all think that they that deal with the stuff when they see me they think I'm that deal so they let that guard down and they feel comfortable talking to your girl you know I know it's crazy it's <laughs> it's crazy but you'll be surprised the importance that we put on this materialistic stuff 
that we give our children. That ain't even the message for the day, people. No, I'm just trying to let you know that we do have some tours this month. <laughs> <laughs> the girls tour is the 24th their tour is always on the fourth tuesday of the month and the boys tour is friday which is the 27th and their tour is always the last friday of the month so long as you register your child meaning that you pay your fee you get your intake package you have it completed we set up a time for the family meeting now you're ready for the jail tour yes a jail tour not what you see on tv not like scare straight None of that. These prisoners in the women's and the men's prison are very mild-mannered. They are very articulate. And they don't even come at your kid like they're trying to scare them. So if that's what you're looking for, attitude adjustment is not the program for you. We are a problem solver prevention program. We don't do that scaring because kids don't scare. Kids do not scare. Part of it can be because y'all don't discipline them. They don't have nothing to be scared of. I know I used to get paddled in school. <laughs> I used to get my ass whooped when I got in trouble and did something wrong. So it was a certain amount of fear that I had. And it was a certain amount of discipline that I had to where I knew not to do certain things. But these kids nowadays, all y'all do is buy them shit. Y'all don't discipline them. Y'all don't talk, tell them when they wrong. Y'all don't teach them nothing. Y'all not instilling no type of values, no morals, no nothing. Y'all just dress them up. And put them out there in the world and let them figure it out for themselves. Some of y'all, not all, not all, just, just some. Just some of the ones that I encountered through my program, Attitude Adjustment. So, y'all, that was it pretty much for Coffee and Conversation. I wanted to talk a little bit about the program. I want to let you know how you can register because I do have people inquiring now, which is a wonderful thing. And um, that's it. So, you can give me a call at 313 586-2240 if you want to register your child for Attitude Adjustment Youth Program. We do have tours this month. The girls is on the 24th and the boys is on the 27th. And hit that subscribe button down there uh, if you on my YouTube channel. Yeah, just so you can get notifications when I come on. Because I know you don't want to miss me. So that's it guys for Coffee and Conversation with Shakenya. And I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. I hope it's productive. Oh, did I miss y'all? Hey, Yvonne, how you doing, baby? Did I miss anybody else? That's it. Okay, guys, have a wonderful Wednesday and I'm out. Mwah.